<laughs> I mean, it's cool. I like Vin a lot. <laughs> well, I know. You gifted it to me. That's right, I did. You saved the stream. <laughs> we should be live I see now. Ad. Oh boy, ad. That's what we want. Ad, ad. More ads, please. Uh, yeah, everything looks to be running okay. Cool. And now you're hosting me. Yes, I am. I, I still. Am, I am. I still appreciate the fact that it says is now wasting so many viewers' time as my so host message. <laughs> and Riddy's hosting me too. Thank you so much, Riddy. And thank you, V. <coughs> Welcome to the uh, first play of Phantom of Venice. Um, <laughs> this is. This is clearly what the game they meant when they said ICE. Almost certainly. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure that's the acronym. Because I'm cause i making as much sense as all the Nancy Drew acronyms. <laughs> um, yeah, it was always the plan. I don't know why anybody would expect any other game after that. But, you know. <laughs> We're playing Phantom of Vet Ice. Yay! Which was very kindly months ago. Uh gifted to me by V. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Um and let's uh let's do this thing. Click on the plane ticket. I skipped over Nancy's uh opening speech because I didn't need to hear about how great she was and how I'm not as great as her. Hey Mambo, hey Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Did you pick up that dictionary? Okay, good. They forced me to. <laughs> I like that you didn't even read the case file. Why would I? <laughs> so you know what's going on? Uh, Italy, Phantom, Venice. <laughs> I got it. I'll look at the case file if you want me to. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm do kind of doing it now. Okay. The socialite whose necklace I helped recover while solving that scarlet hand case a while back, I'm on my way to Venice, Italy. Apparently, someone there has been dressing up in a mask and cape and stealing valuable pieces of art. The news media <coughs> call him the Phantom, not only because of the way he dresses, Phantom. but because he leaves behind so few clues. Prudence, who loves Venice and belongs to an organization dedicated to preserving the city's art, is outraged the thief hasn't been caught yet. So she talked someone she knows at the GDIF, the Italian version of our FBI, into having me help the police in their investigation. She arranged for me to stay in Venice in the palazzo she used to own, which now belongs to a well-to-do widow named Margarita Foberg. Beyond that, all I know for sure is that I'll be working undercover, and as soon as I arrive, the police will send me something that will lead me to my assignment. What it will be? I have no idea. But am I excited? Oh, see. Oh, uh, where do you use your one word of Italian, eh, Nancy? <laughs> see. See. Junior, because I want the task list. Yes. Like, honestly, if Senior had the task list, I would be fine with Senior. <laughs> Senior has a task list starting with game 26, I believe. I don't understand these random choices of when they decide to change things. Right. This looks like fun. Looks like my last birthday party. Get out of here! Hey! Open the door! Sounds like a story. No. Well, Nancy. People tried to drown me. <laughs> what the heck happened? They started out so well. I mean, what could be better than waking up in Venice? Excuse me. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Kaden. Welcome thanks, back, Kaden. Thanks for the host. Are I believe you that playing in windowed mode? I am playing in windowed mode. Okay, cool. So you can see chat and everything, right? Yes. Nice. I, I don't see the alerts and whatnot, like, on the okay. stream, so I'll still ask you about those, but... That's cool. 
Uh, Sekiro Reedy? I believe it was. I believe it was Kaden that just hosted me. Oh, uh, Reedy told me Gazoon type, so I should say um, uh, Danke. I think that's thank you in German. That is. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Welcome to one of the prettiest bedrooms I think that Nancy Drew has in the whole series. Here's a picture of a lady. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, a -Rox, how's it going? Hey, a -Rox. Mama und Papa. I really dig being here in Italy. It is a great time. You Pre pretzels. German? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't, right? Me. Hello. Uh, it is pretty wet here. I am not fond of all the water. Gross. 99 luft balloons. <laughs> Venice is so beautiful this time. Of oh man, I can't read this. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Read the whole stream so I had to rehost. Well, I appreciate uh, the rehosting. I know I had to reset the stream and disappear for like a half an hour. <laughs> I think the reason I like this bedroom so much is that um, you can even walk out on the on the balcony. Yeah, that's cool. This game is what made me want to see Venice one day. Let's go to Venice. Okay. That was easy. Let's let's have a big a big indie fan party in Venice. That sounds like it would be so easy to make happen. <laughs> <laughs> totally, n only a few logistics. Yeah, legit. Okay, let's see. An interactive guide to Venice, Venice. My bad. Venice, yes. How Venice was built. The land upon which the city of Venice, or Venicia in Italian, <laughs> was built is actually com comprised of 118 small islands emerging from the shallow waters at the, top at the tip of the northern Adriatic Sea. Early settlers knew that a city set in the middle of a lagoon would be easier to defend from marauders from one on land. They also recognized, I knew that already, they also recognized that its unique location gave it potential becoming an important center of trade, especially with countries to the east. So, island by island, they drove pilings made of oak and pine wood deep into the subsoil until they hit compacted clay. We're using, learning so much about Venice. Using these... I... That's right. Is everyone having a great Monday? Sort of! <laughs> I am. Using these pilings as foundations, they built houses atop them made of wood and brick and faced with heavy stone, resulting in structures that stood for hundreds of years. In fact, many of the buildings that today made Venice one of the most picturesque cities in the world were built well over 400 years ago. Most of the 150 canals for which the city is famous are natural, filled with brackish water. They are the channels which flowed between the islands upon, oh, sorry, is lands upon which the city was built. Some 409 bridges span these canals. Bridges that were built over smaller canals are often privately owned, which means its owners can and do charge a toll to walk across. That's stupid. To make matters worse, many of the smaller bridges have neither roofs nor walls, so that crossing them at night often proves extremely challenging. And wet. Yeah, how's your Monday going, uh, Arox? Major sights of Venice. The almost two-mile stretch of water known as the Grand Canal is perhaps Venice's most well-known feature, with its, with its vaporettos, water buses, Gondolas and water taxis, the activity on the canal is almost as fascinating as the grand and often colorful palazzos, palaces on the shores. Many of the most spectacular sites in Venice are located near the pizza, I mean, piazza, <laughs> open square of San Marco. Most prominent, of course, is the Basilica di San Marco, the Cathedral of St. Mark, which was completed in 1094. It's a mixture of Byzantine, Romanesque, and Arabesque architectural styles is indicative of the multitude of forces that helped make Venice into a vibrant cultural center. Inside the basilica are numerous relics and stunning mosaics, as well as four magnificent bronze horses, which was uh, only wrecked once. 
Okay. <laughs> That's I good. I was like, what? One is not bad. Uh, the silver are numerous relics and stunning mosaics, as well as the four <clears throat> magnificent, magnificent <laughs> bronze horses which were taken from Byzantium during the Fourth Crusade. Nearby is Doge's Palace. A testament... Doge? Much <laughs> yep. palace? Very fancy. That's right. I like how the music just stopped in the game. <laughs> Lest uh, which the dukes that ruled Venice enjoyed until the Venetian Republic... Oh, there's the music again, just to make me look like a jerk. <laughs> uh, Venetian Republic uh, ended in the 18th century. The tall bell tower, or campanile, that was built next to the basilica is a tall structure in Venice and affords spectacular views of the city. The ancient and beautiful Rialto Bridge affords wonderful views of the Grand Canal. Best seen from the Grand Canal, the Pont di Saspiri, the Bridge of Sighs, was so named because it was the bridge connecting the Doge's Palace, probably after the Doge died, which served as the seat of government for hundreds of years with its dungeon. It is said that people being escorted across the bridge to the prison would sigh as they looked outside, knowing it would be a long time, if ever, before they would see daylight again. Thought I, would, thought I would mess with y'all a little bit, but you just said it was Autocorrect's fault. Which is it? <laughs> yeah, which is it? Uh, just off the Piazza San Marco is the Museo Correr, a museum with wonderful displays of medieval and renaissance art and artifacts. While on the other side of the Grand Canal is the Galleria dell'Accademia. Its extensive collection of Ven Venetian art throughout the ages is truly spectacular. Gelato! Alright, I know where I'm going. No visit to Italy would be complete without at least one visit to the gelato shop. Oh, a gelato shop, not the gelato shop. There's only one, and it's the best one in all of Italy. Contrary to popular belief, the Italian ice cream known as gelato did not get its name because it contains gelatin. Rather, it comes from the Italian word, which means frozen. Like the ice cream with which most Americans are familiar, gelato is made from whole cow's milk and sugar, which are stirred while they are being frozen to form a dense, creamy product. Gelato, however, is usually flavored with fresh fruit and contains less butter fat than ice cream, 4 to 8% versus 10 to 18%, and less air, resulting in a healthier product with a more intense flavor. The best gelato is made daily. It must be kept in a special freezer and is usually scooped out of trays instead of bins. Good to know. Commedia dell'arte. Uh, from the 5th century to the 18th century, a form of improvisational, improvisational, <laughs> well said. Uh, Improvisate Improv theater Known as Commedia dell'arte Thrived in Italy and influenced theater Throughout Europe uh, Commedia dell'arte del troupe Consisted of ten people Seven men and three women Like other renaissance theater troops They traveled from town to town performing plays But unlike other troops They did not simply act out memorized lines Rather everything they said was improvised Made up on the spot uh, I'm just glad I didn't fall asleep while driving. I think I may have insomnia. Well, that's not good. But I mean, yeah, if you do I have, didn't fall asleep either. But if you have insomnia, <laughs> you'll probably avoid falling asleep while driving. So that's good too. <laughs> yeah, insomnia keeps you awake. Yeah. Narcolepsy, I think, makes you go to sleep randomly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the buzz. They did not, however, make up the story as they went along. The troop would work from an outline which described the basic plot broken into acts as the Commedia dell'arte genre evolved so did the characters the performance the performance created to bring their scenarios alive these stock characters always dress and act the same way and use the same props from one play to the next oh well now it sounds lazy <laughs> <laughs> made up on the spot but they always act the exact same way <laughs> the masked actors wore also helped their audience recognize stock characters a black mask with a long nose meant an actor was portraying the vicious physically deformed crafty man known as Pocinella, while an actor wearing a mask with bushy eyebrows and heavily furrowed brow was playing Pantalone, whose greed and uh, naivety often set the plot in motion. So compelling were these characterizations that Shakespeare and later Molere uh, employed them to varying degrees in their comedy. Carnival! 
in Venice, Carnival is a winter celebration which lasts for several weeks. The Carnival season goes from the 12th day of Christmas, January 6th, to Shrove Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, which marks the beginning of Lent. Like the Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday celebration for which New Orleans is famous, Carnival in Venice involves mass costumes and merrymaking. One of the traditional costumes likely to be seen during Carnival is the bata, which features a white volto mask, which covers half to three quarters of the face. A black veil or cloak completes the look. Women sometimes wear a black oval mask called the moretta, which covers the entire face, but because the person wearing a moretta must hold the mask in place by clamping a button between their teeth, it's a mask that's seldom worn by modern day revelers. Moretta. Moretta. Oh, common Italian terms and phrasal, phrasos, <laughs> phrases. Rosso, bianco, nero, giallo, blue, verde, can, gato, topo. If you push the little buttons, they'll say the words. Ooh, better than I was saying them, I'm sure. Cane, gato, topo. Fiori, porta, parate, parete. Ooh, almost had it. I'm so good at Italian. <laughs> so good, basically a pro. No, oh, no, you don't mean that. <laughs> this is where all of my Italian knowledge comes from. Is right here. I thought I was pronouncing the words pretty well, but expert Italian speaker V probably thinks otherwise. No, you were doing good. No, nope, I understand. It's fine. <laughs> what? Making fun of me for my non-pro speaking like she has. I wasn't making fun of you. So cruel. Why you gotta do this to me? All right, I think I looked at most things. I went to the the cabinet or wardrobe. Hey, cat. Hello. Hello, cat. How's it going? I love this game, too. V's the one who got me this game, so. Hey, Angel. Hey, again, Angel. It was always it was always planned to play Phantom of Venice, Venice, obviously. <laughs> That's why it was called Ice, right? <laughs> yeah, Venice. Venice. Totally. Just gonna start calling all the ND games by different acronyms just to confuse people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I have to call anybody or just leave? Uh, you can call people, but you don't have to yet. If you don't want to. Do you think it'd be a good idea to call people now, or...? Um, up to you. Uh, it gets some conversations out of the way early if, if you don't want to do that. You can also change Nancy's clothes if you... I did see that, but I don't think there's a point to it at the moment. Right. Um, I don't think I can call anybody, because I don't have anybody's number. Um... No numbers show up. No numbers show up. Check your notebook um, and see if there's a category that says... Um, oh, phone uh, numbers. Phone numbers, yeah. I have to dial them too? Why, yeah. game? <laughs> I know. Oh, but you can keep your journal open while you're dialing. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> 72, 79. Wow, that's annoying. Yes, thanks for shouting out Double Dare. They're a wonderful streamer who does mysteries and Final Fantasies and all the fun games. They're just wonderful all around. Super friendly, super friendly people, and I like being in their streams. You might as well hang up right now. The Karnas Coast is yours, and much as it torments me to see her maimed by all your penny pinching posturing, I'll not give you one more cent for repairs, not a one! But this isn't Margarita, it's Nancy Drew. Nonsense! If you were Nancy 
Nancy Drew, my phone would say Nancy Drew, but it doesn't. It says Margarita Foberg, just as clear as day, and my phone is never, ever wrong about such things. It's a true miracle of modern science. It says Margarita Foberg because I'm calling from the Canis Costa. It's not really a miracle, Miss Rutherford. It's just <coughs> Such sass, Nancy. Tiling numbers physically and having long combos. to Venice and was all Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. interesting. Very, very interesting, Prudence. <laughs> I kind of want to punch Prudence in the face sometimes. Is, is Prudence the one that a bunch of you always say, like, we have to check to see that it's not a man voice in her? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you tell? That's obviously a woman. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> obviously, sure. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Prudence, is that you? <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you so much for shouting out, Angel, and welcome back, Angel. I'm sorry it took so long to come back. To everybody that was here before, there were a lot of technical difficulties, and uh, now we're playing this game. <laughs> What do you mean? We totally did not switch game. Well, yeah, it was always the plan to play Phantom of Van Ice. Totally. Definitely. Absolutely. <clears throat> yes, Mysteries and Final Fantasies. The best combo. I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing. As it happens, I'm writing my memoirs. I didn't ask about what you were doing, Prodets. Prudent, um, me at work answering the phone, and all somebody really wants is for me to put a note in their reservation that they like a high. F they have to give me a 15-minute version of their current meet before we get to. So I'm just calling to see if you could put me on a high. F and I'm like, thanks for wasting my life. <laughs> I mean, you're at work anyway, so it's. At least there's that. I guess that's true. It's not I'm like it's paid it, to take that call. Yeah, it's not like you're you're not at work and you're just listening to this person for fifteen minutes. True. But I guess Nancy's technically at work. She doesn't get any pay whatsoever as far as I know. True. So it's just wasting Nancy's life. Does she get her expenses paid though? I don't know. We assume well she has to go and like paint crap in the Square or something in this game, doesn't she? So I don't think she gets anything paid for. No, uh, no, you're thinking of uh, Danger by Design. Oh, well, aren't they the same game? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't you hate when caller ID doesn't tell you who's calling from the other person's phone? Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Got two more fish and called them Mike and Nancy from Strange. Nice. Nice. The Wheeler fish. Um, guess I'll call Ned. Let's see how he's doing. Nedster. Hey, Ned. Went out of hey, town Ned. again. Went out of town again without telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. 
<laughs> yeah! I'm Nancy! <laughs> I won't even answer your phone when I call you at random hours of the day. I'll call back when I have more. What kind of boyfriend are you, Ned? You're the worst. We're broken up. <laughs> Nancy's are doing it for themselves. Ned word. I do like Ned. I think he is a very patient man for the He has to be. <laughs> yeah. He does. Going across the hall to hear about all these wonderful shades of colors. <laughs> what are you doing, if you don't mind my asking? Right now I'm restoring this 14th century mosaic, which means, without getting overly technical, <coughs> the tesserae that remain in place, repairing those that have been damaged and replacing those that are missing with new so ones custom crafted to match. Timber, I mean, this is Colin Baxter. <laughs> what'd you say with, what'd you say to Stark? I was gonna make a joke. I said, Justin Timber. I mean, oh. this is Colin Maxter. I get you. Is Margarita paying you to do this? She is indeed. As little as possible, of course. But just between you and me. <laughs> Can't with Colin, guys. I became fascinated with art in general and mosaics in particular when I was at Oxford. Oxford University. That's where I'm from, actually. You're from a university? Oh. That's where I was born. I live here now and intend to do so for a very He's long such while. a nice guy. I say that with no small amount of guilt. Why do you feel guilty? People like me and Helena are the reason true Venetians are slowly going extinct. We foreigners come to Venice, fall in love with her, and staying. High demand for food and housing results in high prices, which in many cases means the people who were born here <coughs> have to leave because they can no longer afford to live here. If I could be granted one wish, it would be to have been born here. That way I would feel entitled to live here, and I would know how to speak Italian. You don't speak Italian? Much as it shames me to admit it, no. Languages don't come easily to me. And since I am able to do what I do without knowing Italian, you know, I have some slides of various tesserae. Not only are they enormously informative, but they're also quite beautiful. Would you like to see them? Um... Uh, not many boyfriends would want to still be with a girlfriend that forgot their anniversary and said she was to do a mystery in a different country. Yeah. Um, nice guy, lol. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, we're totally playing Ven Ice. What are you talking about? <laughs> always, always was the plan. <laughs> this is definitely the game known as Ice to Nancy Drew community. I don't know what you mean by giving up on Ice, because I'm playing it right now. I think Anne just came in for her favorite part of this game. <laughs> oh yes. At that, At it couldn't be made more of crimson. Perfect. Sometimes red is simply breathtaking. And yes, thank you for shouting out Anne. She's she's a wonderful streamer. Be more perfect. <laughs> Sometimes red is simply breathtaking. The very definition of beauty magnificent shade of blue the very definition of beauty is this gray piece of stone <laughs> that's right sometimes red is simply breathtaking i can't handle how breathtaking red is i'm glad he showed me twice and just when you think they can't get any better just when you think it can't get any better <laughs> Like it was carved from amethyst. Not playing hooky, I'm sick of. Oh, I, I, I wasn't gonna. The shade of crimson. I adore the shade of crimson. What a luscious shade of lilac. I'm sorry you're so sick, Nicole. I hope you feel better. I just want to let you know, Terror. Yes. That this will go until you stop it. <laughs> I can outlast him. Buckle <laughs> in, friends. I adore the shade of crimson. I adore the shade of crimson. Phenomenal color. Dun, dun. Outstanding color. Look how the 
light plays off of it. Look how the light plays off of it. It's like it was painted by the sun. Really deserves a uh, less than four. Sometimes She's that lovable. Phenomenal color. This color is what makes this one superb. I know it wasn't crimson. That's what made it even funnier to me. Fantastic. It was orange. Lovely shade of scarlet. Such a delicate hue. Now that's what I call violet. Now that's what I call music, volume 72. Can't get any more indigo than that. I bet we could get more indigo than that. Sometimes red is simply breathtaking. So it much more indigo. The artistry involved in this like one indigo, is whoa, incredible. you know what I'm saying? Indigo girl. It looks like it was carved. <clears throat> I wonder if you get a trophy for enduring. I don't know. Have they? And just when you huh, think I'm they thinking. can't get any better. I don't know if they have awards in this game yet. Mm, looks like <laughs> it was carved from amethyst. It's a personal award. <laughs> Phenomenal color. Some were very we pretty. Will, and then other And then others just like that's um shade of crimson. We're just like now sitting watching. <laughs> so how are you doing V? I'm doing I'm doing good. How are you doing? <coughs> oh, I'm great. I adore the shade of crimson. You just showed me a different slide and said I adore the shade of crimson. Then this different shade of crimson shows up. He did it two times in a row and he used he the same line. He did. He did in fact enjoy that shade of crimson too. I'm waiting for like a I'm, I'm waiting for like a white tile to show up and him to say, I adore the shade of crimson. Crimson! What a yummy shade of yellow! Is that what he said? Yep. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mmm, yellow. This is getting weirder and weirder. What a luscious shade of lilac. <laughs> but it's so yummy. <laughs> Has all the radiance of a sapphire. Has all the radiance of a sapphire. I adore the shade of crimson. If that gray is amethyst, I'll find a hat and eat it. Looks like you're finding Looks like you're finding a hat. Such a radiant shade of orange. Did you give me two for the same slide? I think you gave me two descriptions for one. Now that's what I call <laughs> indigo. Hot dang! Luscious shade of lilac. <laughs> so are you seriously gonna sit and do this? <laughs> when do you have to leave again? <laughs> uh, an okay. hour? An hour from now? Hour and ten minutes, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we got some time. But did you know that sometimes red is simply breathtaking? But have you also seen such a shade of orange? The very definition of beauty. The very definition of beauty. V has left the call. <laughs> um, no, I'm here. No, I just, it was a joke because this is all I'm doing. <laughs> oh. I mean, if it makes you happy, then I am happy. <laughs> Oh, thankfully he said, what a yummy shade of yellow again. The very <laughs> definition of beauty. Be safe, Ann. So, like, what... Plucked off a lemon I mean, he just really loves mosaics. He is sexually he really excited mosaics. about these colors. He also might be like that late strange addiction that eats specimen. pottery, because he says that color of yellow is, is yummy. yummy. And and stuff like that. So he might actually be eating mosaic tiles, and maybe we should have an intervention. 
for this man. If you like indigo, mm, yellow. If you like indigo, this one's for you. What a luscious shade of lilac. Now I'm getting a text. Big surprise. Incredible. <clears throat> Just incredible. <laughs> so maybe we should ha help the man and, you know. Listen, I'll help him once he decides that it's a good idea to have mosaic enemas. <laughs> what? That's when it's a problem. When it becomes an enema addiction. <laughs> like the one lady on that same show who had coffee enemas. Yeah. <laughs> you promise there are more interesting parts of this game? I, I don't know if I can believe that. <laughs> Tara's invested. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's fun. Green may just be my favorite All right, you ready to move Gr on? Green may just be his favorite color. This one is fantastic. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Wow. The artistry involved oh, she just went right back to it. Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Sometimes red is simply Awesome. <laughs> okay, I'll say awesome instead. Awesome. I the shade of crimson. Ah, it's probably going. Well. You're turning violet, violet. <laughs> I adore this shade of crimson. Everyone else interested only in what something is worth instead of what it offers the soul. You no, know, please, I'd stay, but I really do need to be somewhere. Believe me, I think what you're doing is fascinating. Uh, okay, so obviously, really Riddy had stuff. gifted me a sub, and I this is a new emote, I think, but oh, uh, <laughs> booty. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 2200 years ago. It makes me laugh. Sure how <laughs> came to own it, but she's very fortunate. It's almost impossible to find bronzetti of this quality outside a museum. You see, after they conquered the Etruscans, the ancient Romans melted down thousands upon thousands of statues like this just so they could make coins. <laughs> Interesting. Shoot, I wish I had time to hear more. No, 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 no. You go on. We can talk more later. Oh, a parcel was just delivered for you. It's by the door. <laughs> Three days have passed since you arrived, Nancy, so <laughs> mail has come and gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. He gets mad at you for leaving regardless. Yeah, that was a bunch of nonsense. I listened to his color talk for nonstop. What felt like nonstop. Uh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> From all the slides. So you can look around this room if you like, or you can go upstairs on down entryway. Wait, I have a good idea. <clears throat> Okay. Hello, Nancy. Do you live here at the cop? Uh, I was hoping I could look at his slides again. Very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there. I suppose technically I do live here. I've kept you long enough. What's his name? What's whose name? The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> I wish I had time to listen to more. Absolute unit. <laughs> we gotta talk to the guys. Colin legit scares me. But, Why? But yellow is so yummy! <laughs> this is all I can do to fit in. <laughs> you always fit in here. Yes, that's right. You can't stay away. This is good. You can't stay away. This is good. I need to get going. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he talked about that shade of crimson again. I'm kind of lost without it. TBH. No, I don't want to click there. Yes. Yeah. Nicole. Did you legit just. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, Nicole, yes. <laughs> I mean, I looked around her room. He's so melodramatic. Yeah. He's all dragged. Takes in a personal insult that Nancy, someone he just met, has a boyfriend. 
It's very upsetting. He wasted his time talking to her, clearly. <laughs> Yeah. Sunny, I guess some guys do... are like that. Oh, they definitely are. I have known a few. <clears throat> I talked to you for five minutes. Why don't you be my girlfriend? Why don't you love me forever? <clears throat> I don't oh, understand. You can the that... pages, I think, in that. I think so. Yeah. Translate this, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this all makes total sense to me. Definitely. Oh, why can't Nancy just like throw the dictionary at it and translate everything? You don't have a German uh, dictionary, oh, that's but you German. can get one in this game. My mistake. I think you have an Italian. I do have an Italian one. Cool. Keep trying to pause the stream. I was doesn't work. Okay. Be safe, Ann. Nancy, you are up. Come talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Uh. And again, welcome to Carnas Costa. I see you finally decided to get up. I, yeah, I got up, but I had to stare at slides for four hours. <laughs> Actually, I've been up for a while. Good for you. I got up, showered, and came straight up here. If it's a daytime and it's sunny, no matter the time of year, this is where you will find me. They say the sun gives you wrinkles and worse. And that may be true, but it also makes you tan. To me, to be tan is good. Your recommendations, they are, do you like it? <laughs> this is Margarita, is that what her name is? Yes. Margarita, the word of the day is melanoma. <laughs> You're gonna get the skin cancer if you just keep doing this every day. Uh, Margarita, quick question. Have anybody who is the, uh, who is in your will, and if not... May I volunteer for the position? <laughs> this man in science class, I asked out every girl in class, some of them he had never talked to before, so yes, there are people. Yep, I know. I'm aware. I'm not surprised. Fine, you just like all the other girls. I'll insult and yell at you. That'll make you want to date me. That's right. She does look like a leather bag. I guess that's, you know, she's just trying to be fashionable, looking like the Italian bags. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to be a Prada. Uh, oh, the room is wonderful. Yes, the room is wonderful. No, I didn't change my outfit. Not at all. Ugh. We're just being polite. The last thing a young lady wants when she is on holiday is a roommate. I want the prudence that you would have to share a room with you. You have to come to Venezia this week and you have to stay here. Mamma mia! <laughs> what prudent wants, prudent gets. Have you gone outside the car yet? No, not yet. But do not forget to take your key and lock the front door whenever you leave. <sighs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Everybody's so bossy. Valuable pieces of art. And with Il Fantasma, this phantom thief. Running around and stealing everything, I prefer not to take any chances. Oops. Oh, okay, just stopped playing all the music. That's fine. How long have you lived here? <laughs> Almost two years. Two wonderful but very expensive years. The city expects homeowners like me to maintain these old buildings. But who pays for everything? We do. Council gives us nothing, not nothing. A euro. It is criminal. Miss Rutherford, uh, Prudence, she led me to believe you had a lot of money. You miss the point. Just because I can afford to pay does not mean I should. <laughs> Principal. It works both ways, cat. It's fine. <laughs> Besides, being rich is something I like. If I 
am all the time spending money. I will soon be unrich. Not unrich. Change right in the game. Colonists attacked by angry chief. <laughs> it works out. It's fine. <laughs> if only we could send attack birds on nice guys. <laughs> that would be cool. Wait. You have attack birds? I don't. They were talking about attack birds, though. Angel, can I borrow some attack birds? I met the guy who's restoring the big mosaic in the main room. He's if I am all the time, time spending money, I will soon be unrich. I do not know how any man can find happiness looking at pieces of painted rock all day. Talking to him, it's like taking a sleeping pill. A barba. <coughs> they say he is good. So he works for me. I have one angry bird. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's just what you need. I did not write that oh, for Graham's you to read. Hot gas. <laughs> I wish I had attack birds. Oh. Who are they? I did not write. I know. All my friends on castles like this one. And since something is always in need of repair, we are constantly on the lookout for good workmen. And when we find them, we trade them back and forth like you Americans trade recipes for cookies. Olivia von Helstein raved about the work he did. And what is good enough for the cow? Why are you touching my things? Is more than good enough for me. Be careful what you wish, Fod. <laughs> Guess I'll be going. Have fun with your cancer. That blouse you are wearing. <laughs> Wow, rude. You're pretty rude for a lady who does nothing but grill yourself all day. <laughs> Put that down. You know it was a girl. <laughs> I wonder what she does when the sun goes down. Probably dies. <laughs> Guys, I can't tell. Well, it's fine, cat. We're not judging. We're just giggling at the at the mistypings. Put that down, you nosy girl. Put that down, you nosy girl. Do not read that. Uh, please do not read that. Please do not read that. Put that down, you nosy girl. Uh, Let's -a go. Wah, wah ha. Argon. Something's gone. Argon. R is gone. It's Sammy Luigi. Oh, hello. Put that, that down, down you nosy girl. girl. <laughs> hey, Paige. Oh, hey, Paige. How's it going? Good to see you. Did not see you. Like, I just saw the slightly different colored blue between you and Cat. <laughs> I wish I had Harry Potter man do what Hermione did around the sixth movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. I know exactly what you mean. What is she talking about? <laughs> I don't know Harry Potter. Neither do I. I just said I did to pretend. The same goal. <laughs> Colin, I just I need to hear more about how yellow is yummy. Colin, please. Uh -huh. Please, Colin. I need it. I'll dump Ned for you if you can just tell me more about it. <laughs> yeah, I hope work went well. That's where it just was. I think it was. Yep. There goes skin bag herself, Margarita. No more yummy. Oh, denied. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm get out of my way, lady. Here, I'll get those. <laughs> Can I just back up and not get them and say, pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> One click. Hello, Helena Berger. Sorry for all the commotion when I came in last night. My plane got in three hours late. So that means I'm going to be super loud and obnoxious about everything. But I'm sure you have things to do and places to go, so I won't keep you. Oh, by the way, there's a parcel for you in the entryway. Ciao. Ciao? What does that mean? Are you insulting me? Ma'am? <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, excuse me, Venetian Daily, why are you written in English? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I was Ravenclaw once, and then I got resorted in the Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally getting these references. I've heard of things. Uh, nuns at the convent of St. Gervais. Gervais? Uh, Ricky Gervais. Gervais? I don't know. <laughs> Saint Ricky Gervais awoke this morning to discover that the legendary jewel encrusted chalice of the saint after after which the convent was named was missing. Uh, police report that sometime between midnight and 5 a.m. someone broke into the underground chamber in which the chalice was kept, unlocked his class display, display case, and made off with the ancient relic, which is estimated to be worth at least 50,000 euros. According to head mother sister Lucille, the thief managed to breach the state-of-the-art security system which gar gar <laughs> which guaranteed guarding the chalice without harming any of the convent's residents or damaging any property. For that we are very grateful, but the chalice is precious to us for reasons that have nothing to do with money. We beseech the thief who stole it from us to gracefully, so gracefully to return it to the same way. I've heard of things that I do say that a lot. <laughs> V can back me up on that. <laughs> you have said that often. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. That'll do, V. That'll do. <laughs> uh, striking swiftly and silently and leaving no clues behind their signatures of the burglar, popular, popularly the known... The Hamburglar? <gasps> Her name was Helen Berg. <gasps> Helen Burglar? I think we're solving it. I think That's we really solved tall. this. <laughs> we did it, boys and girls. We did it. Terrorist Captain America. I already stood that reference. <laughs> I know people why people would. I have no idea why people would place jewels in a cup. I never want to use a cup because I'd be worried about messing up the jewels. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Mystery solved. Did it? Did. Well played. Claps. Thanks. I did it. It was all. It all came together when I heard how yummy yellow was. <laughs> it all. It fired off all the synapses in my brain. And that I was, was like, the clincher. and I was like, Helen Berg, <clears throat> she did it. Man, I'm so good at things. <laughs> you are so good at things. Oh no, Paige. I'm sorry, you're sick, Paige. That's exactly what I had a few days ago, and I feel better now. I'm still a little stuffy, and I have a little cough, but I do feel better than I did. I'm glad you're feeling better. I hope Paige feels better soon too. I guess a lot of people are getting sick lately, so I hope that people avoid it or get over being sick soon. Wash your hands lots, friends. It's true. If need be, carry sanitizer with you, so if you have to shake someone's hand, you can sanitize their hand first. Because <laughs> they'll yeah. appreciate that. They won't be offended. They'll be like, sorry, dirty hands. I need you. I need you to clean up your act. Uh, yeah, I hope you feel better soon, bitch. I'm sorry, I got a sore throat, Paige. Get some tea, lemon, and honey. Tis the start of flu season. I guess it is. I didn't know you restarted. Yup. Playing Phantom of Venice. You know it. <clears throat> yeah. Come back, Sarah. Go around, sanitize everybody's hands in the library. Uh, take. <laughs> Take some soap and sponges to those books. Get rid of those ink spots in them, which are I think some people call words. <laughs> uh, gotta I'm clean sorry everything. For saying the word. <laughs> I'm feeling better yesterday. Just weak body mostly, and my throat phlegming it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Flying. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Start saying the word phlegm. Oh, it's it's fine. <laughs> Flime. Uh, let's see. Time to finish reading this newspaper. <laughs> okay. Striking swiftly and silently, leaving no clues behind. It's indicated a burglar known, pop known popularly as the Phantom. Police, however, say it's too early to attribute the theft of the chalice to the mysterious masked figure who has been doing nothing but stealing things, who has been glimpsed before and after the thefts of other valuable art objects. It doesn't matter if it's the same guy or not, said Venice Police Commissioner Antonio Donardo, we're going to catch him. 
Or, you know, some 16-year-old girl will. <laughs> Allegedly removed from the grave of martyred St. Ricky Gervais almost 1,800 years ago, the chalice is the solid gold and encrusted is solid gold and encrusted with jewels. Most notable are the patterns of rubies and emeralds which form the letter G on the one side and P on the other. According to the legend, the chalice was originally made of tin and was shared by Ricky Gervais and his twin brother Brother Tace upon its removal from Gervais's grave. Uh, the tin cup was miraculously transformed into a movie. Uh, was transformed into a chalice. Tin cups a movie. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, I'm glad music just cuts out. Got him. The word crammy is so crappy to me. Crammy. <laughs> crime. It, like, like when I read crimes, that was good too. And saw. <laughs> Creams. <laughs> crime. Crime. Creams. Ricky Gervais. Brother face. Nailed it. Right? I know it. I think they meant to say brovase, not provase. <laughs> There's another envelope on that table you need. Well, she should have grabbed both. <laughs> this is Nancy Drew. Costco. Costco. <laughs> Please that's find where you're, That's where you're staying. Costco. Uh, I'm, play I'm staring at Italian Costco. <laughs> Please find and close your bank card for the Banco del Oro. You will find a convenient automatic teller machine in the Piazza San Marco. Please visit these immediately so that we may activate your account. Best regards. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Right, honestly. Yeah, I left the bank card in an old, like an easy to open envelope near an open gate. <laughs> All right, let's go exploring. Oh, I don't like know where. Like said, that's a big yike. <laughs> it's a big yike indeed. Hope those tourists from the other story don't get too injured by that anvil. <laughs> hope the blood, yeah, I hope the blood draw goes well. Dr. Terry, when will I better give biddies and stuff? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Was I informed of where? Oh, I guess I can go to that place that they told me the Marco thing. <laughs> yeah, anywhere that is a place that you to. Oh, um, there's an eye next to it. Yeah, and everything else you can travel. Th new stuff, new places will open up through the course of the game, but you do have to like travel like one dot at a time. <clears throat> oh wow, that's annoying. <laughs> I just want to go to the the Pizza San Marco. <laughs> Ooh, pizza! Pizza! That's lame, -o, Sarah. I'm sorry you have to go back. I didn't mention earlier, but I had to get my blood redrawn because I didn't take a couple, didn't take enough a couple weeks ago. And now I have to go. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um, I want to donate blood, but I don't know how. I'm sure you can ask. But you would probably just look up like a blood bank, right? I imagine. Yeah, Red Cross can would probably have like locations listed. I'll take some bird seed, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I need a card. I know you need a card. We have a card, Nancy. Just just take it out. <laughs> Welcome, Nancy Drew. Important. All information below is confidential. Use discretion when discussing this case with anyone other than your contact. Sophia. Which is why we left your bank card out in the open. <laughs> yep. Do, 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 do. Instruction. Oh, wait, no. No, dang it. I backed out again. <laughs> oh. Instructions. Okay, close the inventory, Nancy. I don't need to, I need to read. After you read this, you will be provided with a pair of binoculars and a PDA. Using the binoculars, you will watch Antonio Fango, a uh, suspect in the recent thefts attributed to the Phantom, see Crime Dossier. The window of his office in the Argonne building, uh, Campo de Ferrer, 
Fieri? <laughs> can be clearly seen Guy from Fieri. Guy, Guy Fieri. Fieri. Yep. Just gotta wear your sunglasses upside down and on the back of your head, Nancy. <laughs> You'll fit in with Guy Fieri. Uh, can be clearly seen from the rooftop of Ka Nascasco. See photo below. Below. Above. <laughs> The surveillance team at the entrance to the Argon building will page you via the PDA whenever Fango enters. An audio signal will alert you to his arrival. A light in the PDA will remain on as long as he is in the building. No, any suspicious or unusual activity should be reported immediately using the PDA. Press the call button on the PDA keypad to reach your contact. Detective Sophia Leparasse? Uh, Leparasse? I don't know. Liberace. Gotcha. Liberace. Got it. Nailed it. Piano player extraordinaire. Yeah, I think it is AB. I don't know if it's AB negative or AB positive. I think I'm A positive for blood type. Uh, background on Antonio Fango, born in on June 1st, 1972, kicked out of uh, Politecnio Tesla for cheating in December 1993, moved to Venice from Milan in March 2006, custom, design, custom designs and installs communication slash entertainment systems for homes and businesses through his company, uh, Sognal Trico. He is, he is a sole employee. I read it as swole. <laughs> he is a swole employee. He's so built. He's so stacked. After the theft of the Do Doge's sword, Venice police have received a tip that Fengel may have been involved. Uh, wiretaps and surveillance of his business and apartment have revealed nothing out of the ordinary. His contact with people is limited. About once a week, he buys an assortment of chocolates. He rarely eats out, often takes long, random, unaccompanied walks. He has no criminal record. How did y'all find out? Did y'all just find out at the doctors what blood type we are? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. They, I, when I had blood, I had said, can you also test it and tell me wh what type I am? And they said, yeah, no problem. And that's how I found out. Bonoculars. Okay. Yeah, my parents told me as well. <laughs> <clears throat> doo -doo 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 yeah, I think both my parents are also positive, so I was destined to be a positive. This kiosk could come You're a positive in all our lives. Oh, thanks! I Nancy. really like the music in this game. Nancy, just take up a life of crime. Alright, Caden, have a good one. Thanks for being here. Bye, Caden. Yeah, you can, so you can get a German addiction stand. Yeah, but I want to buy Sassy Detective instead. You can buy whatever you want, because you can earn money in this game. I wish it was easier to tell which books were buyable. <laughs> you can pick them up once, down to not buy them. But if you pick them up once, look at them, and then click them again, you buy them. Well, I bought Sassy Detective. It was a necessary thing. <laughs> uh, definitely necessary. Def. They have to know my blood type for emergency stuff, and they have to know Brian is from military stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm just, uh. Just trying to click on things, but it's not showing anything. I think the very bottom row of books has the the German dictionary. Almost by the little jar okay. candy. Yeah, I see it. Available I, to you at this stand throughout the, the game, but I think you can buy right now. You think those are the only two things I can buy? Right now, yeah. Okay. Until more stuff opens up to you. I wish they labeled that better. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. No, I don't want to go right to the book stand <laughs> or a newspaper stand. Yes to the music. It, it's very pleasant music. I like it. All right, well, we grabbed the... Oh, I should look at my task list, huh? <laughs> yeah, we haven't done that yet. Check. Check. All done. All done. All 
done. All done. All done. All done. I haven't done that. But I want to have done that, Nancy. <laughs> All done. Called her? Okay, well. Guess I'll go talk to Helena Berger. The real thief. <laughs> the Hamburglar. I just... Who would do such a thing? Check. I wish, Check. I, didn't, wish I didn't have to click. Prudence. Gruffified. Click, 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 traveling clicks. Traveling clicks, yeah. We're traveling in a click. I agree. Television is great, random standard buyer. Ooh, I like the burger emote. I'm hungry. Okay, okay, stop it. Stop it. Pager, stop it. Do you remember what you're supposed to do when the pager goes off? No. <laughs> okay, I can look at the journal, though. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you can spy on Antonio Fongo. Um, and he's in the building next oh, to this... The, the Argo, whatever. Ka? Yeah, so you gotta find a place while you're Gosta to spy on the next building over. Was it, was it in her room off the balcony? Huh? Can I just do it from the? Why did I go out this way? I don't want to go out this way. <clears throat> yes, you can do it from the balcony. Oh, I don't want to go near that lady. I wish I knew where I was going. <laughs> Edamame and pot stickers. I hope that you enjoy it. Yum, yummy, yummy. Yum, yum, and, yum, uh, yum. You can use the binoculars you got in the eighteen. Use the binoculars on the ATM? No, the the binoculars you got out of the ATM. Oh, I heard ATM. I'm like, oh, sorry, no. Mr. That's T. Um. Oh no, no, no. The you were right the first time. The ba the balcony upstairs, like the rooftop. I'm just clicking places and I'm trying to find where I'm going, but <laughs> it's not intuitive to me. <laughs> yeah, you were right the first time. It was an accident. <laughs> Accidental rightness! Yeah, and then I left, so I was wrong. So, it's there's okay. that. No, it's not okay. I'm terrible. It's okay. I'm glad that it's okay that I'm terrible. See where it says Argon? No. Yes. I saw oh. it. I clicked on it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Whatever I this want. Is, this <laughs> is super sneaky spy things. Nancy, what are you doing? Spying on someone? <laughs> hey, I'm honest about my spying on Seapo people. Watch out for rogue mimes. I will. <laughs> They'll just trap you in a box and just leave you there. Wait, did Margarita not say anything when you said spying on... She said a word in Italian, but I don't know what it was. I've never chosen that option, so I didn't know... I don't know what happened. It was like... Davare. Hmm. This looks interesting. There's a bird. Oh my! He's gonna eat the bird. Oh no, he's not. He's not gonna eat the bird. Oh, I thought he started skipping, but it was just an odd walking animation. I better go somewhere private and report this. Ciao. He harassed a bird. Is this Detective Leporace? Rude. You have something to report? No. So, while I was watching Fongo, a pigeon flew to the window outside. <laughs> Fongo skipping Fongo away. Fongo his desk, went over to the window, and took something off the pigeon's leg. Something very small. He removed something from the pigeon's leg. <laughs> yes, he removed something, kind of studied it, then left the office. Oh yeah. Sounds great. 
Oh, okay. It'll be tiny and a tracking device. That's how you will know. We really hate pigeons in Italy. That sounds made up. Probably diseases, that's what is scary. <laughs> well, obviously you're shorthanded if you're recruiting a 16-year-old girl amateur detective from... She's 18. Whatever. I read 16 at one point, and I'm just sticking with it. <laughs> Um, age did change a bit in the book. Uh, and you're always being creepy, and then you wonder why people are going to hurt you for figuring out the culprit. He walks like a creep. <laughs> yep. I also walk like a creep. Pigeon bug. Ah, looks like a white pill. Yeah, so you gotta go to the Campo Maria, or Campo Santa Maria Formosa, and... Go in the costume and find that little tiny pill in the, gotcha. in the costume. Gotcha. Gonna go to Cap Santa Mary Formal. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this thing, Renegade. Ever since you posted that video, the video you posted, I've gotten oh, the one of my brother-in-law. <laughs> I'm just so happy that Sarah is showing him the games. Camp she told me that they're they're gonna get mid and play it when it comes. Where are you, Camp Santa? Camp Santa, where are you? I need you. No, see, I wanted a checklist. That's the main reason. Checklists are great. Oh, by the way, you can also travel by blue or red line, too. Oh. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I put a video in Discord last night in video talk of my brother-in-law who wanted to recreate a portion of Crystal Skull that he thought was funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Nicole. Wedding off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, that's legit. <laughs> There's a little white pill, and if you gotta look hard and, and find it. I found it. Good job. Oh, thanks. A deal breaker. True. Deal breaker. <laughs> you can also buy clothes here. It's true. I want to buy the creepy girl mask. You can. Yay! I played this with Summer when I was uh, visiting her this summer, and we we bought the creepy doll mask. Mm-hmm. Um, and the uh, the clown outfit, and uh -huh. we walked around. Had Nancy walk around like that. There oh, we go. yeah, Paige, we, I miss watching you guys do that. I am, oh, wait, what? I want to go here. No, I don't, I don't want to click there. Summer's wanna... summer house this summer. <laughs> summer, summer home this summer. <laughs> you you can take the, um, so this is the um, gondolas, and there are four different gondolas, and the ones that cost money, uh, they sing to you. And then the ones that, that the the Luigi one, he's the silent gondolier, so you can take the gondola for free, but he won't sing to you. Luigi. No, not that way. Not that way. We gotta change outfits for Nancy. It's important. It's a break in a case. 
We've got the little face mask here. It's great. We've got this... That there. Just throw that away. That's fine. Sweet red shoes. Jordan did watch us play Detective Barbie. Oh, well, there was that. Alright, I think Nancy's good to go. Classy outfit. We good. <laughs> Can you imagine if somebody walked up to you looking like this? I would be scared out of my mind. And then, like, they don't even talk to you. They just do, like, throat singing. You're <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Sumer. Hello. Hello, roommate. Nicole. It's important that he tolerates your nonsense. That's the most important thing in a mate. <laughs> Hello, roommate. We're in my creepy doll mask. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she changed her voice depending on what mask you were wearing. <laughs> like, hello, roommate. <laughs> and you tolerate his. Yes, him and his glass of water. Have you ever thought about living here? But ND is nonsense. I I make it nonsense. I make an effort to meet new people. Having friends is very important to me, you see? But I don't want to move here until I can afford my own palazzo. So, until that day, I will have to content myself with staying here wherever I can and as often as I can. What do you do for a living? I burgle. I mean, journalist. I'm in Hamburg because that's where the offices of your vet magazine are. I do most of my writing for them. But I know far more about Venice than I do about Hamburg. I know more about Venice than most Venetians do. I know where the best souvenir stands are, the nicest glass shops. Yeah, I'll make you a list of the cheapest cafes. Oh, thanks. Thanks for saying I'm cheap. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't want to know where the cheapest Rude! Cafes are. are you sure you're American? I'm just not into touristy things, that's all. I see. But you could tell me what your very favorite spot in Venice is. I'd love to know that. <laughs> Let me think. That would have to be Campo San Paolo. There's something, no, something very avant-garde about it that's quite charming. You'll be Nicole Bennett. Aw. It'll be great. So what do you think about all this phantom thief stuff? So many weddings. I probably shouldn't say this, but I think it's great. A caped figure darting down rockways beside moonlit canals. Melting mist like into the shadows, escaping not with stolen money, but stolen art. It's all just so wonderfully Venetian. <laughs> Have you written about six, it? Six six twenty twenty. For your very guests. I like that. I it is nice. On holiday, but when they agreed to pay half my expenses in addition to my novel fee, how could I refuse? Remember in two thousand six when people thought the world was gonna end because six six six. <laughs> Yeah. I think that was the day the Omen remake came out too. Oh. possible, this phantom could turn out to be a woman. That would be a story for Uh, I wanted 10, 10, 20, 20. 10, 10, 2, 20? <laughs> uh, but you didn't want to wait. That's fair. Have you dug up anything juicy for your story on this phantom thief person? This case is so huge, the police are swamped. Apparently, they've got people coming in from all over the world to help track down leads. My contacts at the police station are too busy to give me the time of day, let alone a juicy tip. How I dare? I run through the bathroom. I'll be right back. Just told me something very interesting. He said the very okay, be safe. Is that the next thing the thief steals is going to be a person. He's going to kidnap someone? Very wealthy someone. At least, that's a 
remember in 2000 everyone thought we were going to die and every computer was going to... The only thing I remember about 2000 was when Chris Jericho came back to wrestling and he's like, I'm going to be Y2J. Break the wall down. Pointless reference. <laughs> I feigned an interest in what he was doing, and the next thing I knew, he was showing you his test race slides. Yes. They went on and on and on. It was nightmarish. I felt like a seabird that had landed in an oil slick and couldn't fly away. The only way I could escape was to confess that I found the slides less than fascinating. It hurt his feelings terribly, I'm afraid, but it couldn't be helped. I've heard it's a lot. Um, but I'm sure you're doing all that you can to make it as best as you can, and it'll be a magical day just because it's uh, your your marriage day. And I hope it's I hope it goes wonderfully. And all the best wishes to you and your Don. The same thing happened to me. The man is obsessed, which is a shame, really. After all, he's not bad looking, and there's a touch of intrigue. Once, while he was working, his cell phone rang. He immediately left the room to take the call, but as he was leaving, he picked up by saying, This is Justin. I'm back. Welcome back. Help yourself to the toilet. Well, I didn't plan it a lot, and I was doing it while I was in school. Well, I mean, Anne's doing it while she's in school, technically. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome back. You do have it all, don't you, Nancy Drew? Yep, I have it all. Boyfriend, creepy doll mask, <laughs> childish shirt. Time to go sneak, snicker snick, and the Fango's <laughs> office. Yes. That is to my room. That is not the right way. Nancy, jump from your room to Fango's office. It's fine. You can make it. I believe in you. Totally safe. Legit. Oh, I see. It's just the same newspaper as it was minutes ago. Lame. What even is the news people doing? I don't know. They're blowing it. That's what they're doing. Go to New Hampshire. It's tax free, dare. One thing reason I like was like, yes, please to work in a day with Brad was twenty five percent off of it. That's awesome. That's a smart move, honestly. Um where would I go to get to his office? Did they tell me? He, his office is at the Campo de Frari. Oh, okay. Remember Guy Fieri? Well, I remember us saying it, but I don't remember the importance of it at all. <laughs> yeah. So that's where that's his office building, the one you can. So you can go to it and try to sneak in. Well, she says I gotta pick and pick the lock somehow. So I gotta go you back to my place it. and get a hairpin, I guess. Yes. All oh, right, I have to click twice to go somewhere. Uh, minor complaints. <laughs> I have. Oh. Do, do, do. Ha, bo, bo, do, bo, do, bo, do. Gotta say, when I started this game, or when I woke up today, I didn't think that somehow I'd wind up playing Phantom of Venice. Also, didn't think the talk would be about wedding dresses. <laughs> 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 Not that I care. I hope you're enjoying Ven, though, even it's, even if it's not the game you were expecting to play. I mean, there's always going to be the disappointment of not playing the game that you intended to play, but it seems like a fine game. There's nothing to be sorry about. I was just joking, Ed. 
I'm sorry. If I ever get married, I'll just bleach potato sack white and nailed it. Ah, there. Yeah, that's really the cleverest. <laughs> <clears throat> Nancy, just take a lot of hairpins and toothpaste. You'll need it. Trust me. Yeah, Nancy, we don't want your stank breath all up in Venice. True that. I need to learn how to navigate better. <laughs> you, you, you will as you like start to learn your way around. I'll never learn. <laughs> Walk faster, Nancy. <laughs> uh, I plan to wear a headband with it, but it's not on the pick. Let me go find it. Take okay, your time. It'll be lovely. Be safe. And you'll look beautiful. I'm it sure. It'll match my everyday potato sack. Which you <laughs> rock! Hey I, nev now. I never got to see the everyday potato sack. I didn't go to TwitchCon with you guys. Oh. Pick that lock! I was told not to. <laughs> what? What? Okay. <laughs> the idea behind this is to line up all the. I'm sorry, you cut off there for a second. The idea behind picking a lock. In this All cave. of the lines with the line. Explaining so good. The the upper line or the middle line or what? On each prong, needs to line up with the line in the middle. Okay. The line across. I see. So you had gotten them all lined up. They just need to be down like one notch. One notch? I thought it was this bottom line here. No, no, no. The line across. They're all across. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, you see how there's a black line across the middle of the gray and light gray is separated? Yeah. <laughs> you want the... the of each, the line on each prong to line up with the black line that separates the grays. I see. I was doing an indie chat with my wedding pictures on Wednesday so you'll get to see my dress. Well, that's cool. I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably fine. No, no, Nancy, why? Hmm. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, up. All right, I'm just trying to get them all even. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know which, <laughs> where I'm supposed to get them all even. That's the problem. I'm trying to figure out a, a different way to word it. Um, okay. The, so each prong has gray and brown, and there is a line separating the gray and brown. You want that line line up with the line that separates the dark gray from the light gray of the background. Okay, I got it. I finally figured out what you meant. It Sorry was for it was my no, it was my brain. I not smart. <laughs> oh, art. I'm kind of uncomfortable with pictures you probably see, but I don't like people looking at me. I'm sure you look fine. Very pretty, Nicole. I haven't looked at it, but I, I'm sure I'll agree with this. You're also playing the group, so we understand. 
Good luck, Sarah. Yes, I hope it goes very well for you. <laughs> Be safe. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. You're doing all the snoopy snoops. Hey Mambo, hey Mambo, Mambo Italiano. <laughs> Bird! <laughs> oh no, do I have to arrange things at some point? Looks like some cards are missing. Um, I'm catching up to see what's going on. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Hope you're well. Uh, no, you do not have to rearrange these. That's good. Hello, Kitty. Thanks for being here, Hammer. This song is so long. This song is long? Yeah, it was. I made it work. It's fine. I'm okay. How's things by you? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Well, I saw some great cards there for a moment there. <laughs> Scopa cards. Hey, bird. Bird. Everybody knows that the bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> Don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody heard that the bird is the word. Well, the bird, bird, ba 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 bird. So you gotta feed the bird and put the the pill with the with the food. I wish she would just combine them <laughs> in her thing. Eat it, bird. Hey, Shane, how's it going? I hope that you're enjoying your nacho cheese Doritos. I like how after I put a pill on the windowsill, people just started talking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for shouting out, Shane. I appreciate it. I think he was testing out GTA 5 recently. Alright, well I fed the bird. There you go. So, you can keep searching, you can keep snooping around Fong's office, but when that flies off, we can follow him and see where he's to. But Fongo's coming back. Then you gotta hide. Don't look in the locker. He's drinking from a mug. Be safe, Riddy. Yeah, be safe, Riddy. We'll probably be ending here soon. Yeah, I have to go, unfortunately. Fango talks to Pigeon. Normal. How would he not, like, see you in there if he's gonna go and close the door? He's, uh... <clears throat> he's, not, he's not very smart. <laughs> he is very inattentive. Uh, probably talking about weird girl feeding pigeons on the windowsill. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's a living. Uh, it didn't go well. I'm sorry that the testing of GTA 5 didn't go well. It's dark. Is that like, it's locked? It's dark. I think so. Remember the monster in the closet that Fungo doesn't... That's why he closed... That's why he closed it. He's like, uh, monster. Hello, Yordan. Yes, hello, Yordan. Brochures? I need my Italian dictionary. Why do you need your... Uh, uh, it says Bermuda. Aruba. Bermuda. Bahama. 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 Monty, 
Get there, and you have to click them with your. Well, I mean, that's great that she can translate those. I'm glad that she can translate pamphlets and they don't do anything for me. <laughs> yeah. I guess Nancy just wants to read them in English? I don't know. Only foolishly brave people keep the door of a dark closet open. You're right, Angel. You're right. Oh. Um, now's a good time to check the checklist. Did you did that. things? Did I what? Did you go around to his desk? Check. Not yet. Okay. Still can <clears throat> do that. All done. Can't check that off yet. I should probably just call Ned from this office. <laughs> hey yeah. Ned, guess where I am? I'm in a dangerous man's uh, office. No, that might be me. Oh uh, no, I don't think I'm dropping that many frames. Let me see. I've only dropped one. My latency about is seven two, seconds. About two percent overall for the time I've been going, so that's not too bad. Oh, let me navigate better. Come on, Nancy, navigate better. Turn on the TV, Nancy. It's time to watch some stuff. Look at that binary code. Pretty sexy. Somewhat lewd. Probably a bunch of swear words. Yeah, probably. That's what bad guys have in, on their walls, right? They, they have swears and binary. <laughs> Hey, Nancy, you want to translate these using your Italian dictionary? <laughs> They're chocolates. Nancy, translate them. I want to know what Oro is. Thanks for nothing, Nancy. <laughs> I, wish she, I wish I had a better way to get around to the, the desk. Oh, it's just... Not that great movement. That's that was the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is gold. I know it's gold. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was Italian for gold from case closed. So what the password is? Hmm. Yeah, totally. That, little, that mask might be clue. What might be a clue? The mask. Oh. Well, I better go Italy. over... Oro! No, I gotta go back to the cabinet thing and... Or cabinet the locker. Are they so appraised the chocolates? I think so. Oh, Nancy, just... Just grab a sword and slash computer, Nancy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> now I forgot what the mask looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to write them all down. <laughs> Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the fandango? Someone sent him poison chocolates. Uh, it was probably. <laughs> poison chocolate. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. Do, do I just click enter or should I just accept it when it's right? Uh, you'll have to hit enter to input the.
Oh, I thought I had one of them right. <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of gold. Totoro is a terrible mask. It only like hides your forehead and nose. <laughs> Doctor. Can it be two words? Yes. Oh. Well, I thought it could only be one for some reason. Because smart. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm not smart. It's fine. Time to use my Italian dictionary. Yes, use your Italian dictionary. University of Bologna. Masters of computer science. Welcome back, Kaden. We might be done in about five minutes, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're welcome to keep going. I'll just have to step out. There are other things I have to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not a great mask. I agree. Is that... Is that... I-L or L-L? I-L. I-L. Is it cap sen <laughs> Is it case sensitive? No. Oh, that's good. I don't good. think so. That's good. That's good. You need to do school stuff? I mean, don't let me doing this stop you from doing school stuff. School stuff is way more important. His hat. No, I should take his hat. Life. Yeah, okay. Listen to V. <laughs> Nancy Drew is educational. We are learning Italian. I don't have to press enter. <laughs> oh, okay. It just takes it. Why can no one ever use fonts to distinguish capital I from lowercase l? Oh. Oh. We're going to dig through people's digital trash. Yay. Did that. Still have to do that. Check. Oh, next stream is more important. By the way, when? Oh, when is V's next stream? Tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. My time. Tomorrow what your time? It cut out for me. Around one ish, I think. Okay. My time. Okay. I just want to make sure that got across. <laughs> I found an airline reservation has been canceled by your request. Uh, Venice, Italy, destination Tahiti, French Polynesia. Please allow us to make your next dream vacation a reality. Always choose to fly Eckland Airlines. Hello, El Capitano. How about a nice game of chess? You play white. This is my first time, but a friend recommends me to your esteem recommends me to your esteemed establishment. Wonderful. Please supply me with your mail address for billings. What chess notation do you prefer to use? Krollmeister. I understand, but I prefer standard algebraic. Where, whenever you want to quit, close the game screen. Fine, I'll start. Ah, KH3, PF7, PA4, KH6, and D3. Ah, they're just playing a whole chess game. Wonderful game. Perhaps we can meet in person to play. Meet me outside the newspaper kiosk. Get Stan Marco tomorrow. Thank you. This poor guy is canceling so many air flights. <laughs> <laughs> I was dreaming, but I think the weather would say no. Aw, but I want the angel stream. Angel stream's always fun. It's true. Well, that's cause angel fun. Yes. I'll make about four to seven. Well, I'm sure she'd agree that she just appreciates you being there for any amount of time that you can be there. Uh huh. This is true. We'll be playing from now on. I'm much better for than I. Please continue to change my account, though, as you wish. Charge my account.
All right, well, that was fun. I looked at all her chest logs, or all his chest logs. Sounds good. To call it for now. Yay! Look at all it's those checks. What's that? I said it's probably a good idea to save anyway. Okay. Let us save. Black. Uh, save. Oh, second chance, hide, second chance, office, start game. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to see. It's not great. It's not clever. Oh, I didn't see it. My stream froze. Oh. Uh, it was just better than the chess. <laughs> oh, okay. Not clever. <clears throat> I know. Quit judging me. <laughs> I'm not. Judged. Okay. I unfortunately have to step away. I have to go grab a few things and then I gotta drive but having me along today I'm sorry for all the technical trouble but I'm glad we got Venice to work and I hope you're having fun with it um well be safe on your drive and everything that you gotta do from here on out uh thanks for joining me I appreciate it it's been a fine time uh we'll just forget that the ice problems happened and I'll figure out some way to fix it um and I hope that you had fun. Uh, I did. I hope everybody had a wonderful time with the stream. I appreciate you all, especially the patience of those who were there this morning and it was messing up and the sudden uh, audible that we had to pull. Uh, I hope everybody had a fun time. I hope that uh, we'll be able to do this again soon and uh, we get further in this game and hopefully I'll figure out how ice works because it still baffles me. <laughs> Uh, have a good one, everybody. Uh, Bye, thanks. We'll do this little thing here, and no problem. Oh, Glad to do the stream. We hope you like the show. We know you're rooting for us, but now we have to go. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for being here. <laughs>